There are different views of man. Man has always been a fascinating organism. Questions like how he came to being, how each part of his body works, what makes him grow and acquire mechanism, and how he communicates with each other. Now there are two ways to view man. We have the optimistic approach and the holistic approach. Man as a biological being. Man is a living organism from birth and is destined to die. Until he does, he has to contend continually with forces in his environment. Because the cells, organs, and organ system are found within the individual, they comprise the subordinate system of man, while the family, community, and the society, which consists of bigger units of man, are called his superordinate system. First, the closed system. It is a system that is self-sufficient and totally isolated from other systems. It does not allow outside stimuli in any form to penetrate its boundaries or to go beyond in any form, verbal or non-verbal. It states that life-sustaining element and cannot enter the system to nourish it. Second, the open system. It exchanges matter energy, or information with the environment surrounding it. It directly affects events or changes in other system. And lastly, the energy and matter relationship. It exchanges energy matter or information with which taken in by a system and is called the input, that which passes from him into the environment and is now called the output. Man as a psychosocial being. Probably describes man as a social being who is capable of relating with others. From birth, he is endowed or is given the capacity to know, to like, and to respond, and to appreciate the uniqueness of others.